Welcome back to Tamra College. Uh, I'm your host, Zod. We're going to do some news for the week of uh, April 13th. Uh, ESO news. Um, first thing we got, we'll start this right away. First thing we got, we got um, patch 5.3.9. Um, it's a real small patch. It just it just dropped on Monday. Um, there's a few things in here. Um, some uh, like stability changes and stuff. Uh, one of the big things is now when you use a gap closer ability, such as charge leap or teleport, uh, will not visually suppress the block, although they say you are blocking. So maybe that's like a performance tweak. Um, uh, fix an issue where block visual effects get stuck in a character while in gamepad mode, although with mouse and keyboard, mouse and keyboard, it's like always been like that. Uh, you'll get the little block animation or whatever. Uh, fix a crash that occurs in the justice activities. Made some improvements that should slightly decrease the amount of crashes in general lag in areas with lots of combat. That seems like it's probably PVP uh, driven change, although it doesn't say specifically what. Uh, it's just like a general change. Um, a couple of the other things I kind of want to go over. Um, this is super, super important. So I will read this whole thing. I will, I'm literally going to read the whole thing. So basically what happened is um, in two, three weeks ago, there was some light attack, potential light attack changes. It was like a pre-PTS that they're doing now um, that were, uh, how do I put this? <laughs> were uh, unpopular. Um, there were almost all of the changes they were going to make oh, were unpopular. There were some of them, like uh, your light attacks and heavy attacks scaling off your max stat, which was nice. Um, but like... Most of it was unpopular, and there was a lot of constructive feedback. Uh, there was a lot of unconstructive feedback, too. But basically, what happened is, if you look here, uh, Brian Wheeler, who's the lead PvP designer. <coughs> excuse me. Um, Brian Wheeler, who's the lead PvP designer, um, put a statement out, and this is what it reads. Uh, first off, thank you all for hopping on the PTS and trying out the changes to light attack, medium attack, and heavy attacks. This off-cycle PTS was designed to give you all a chance to test some of the experimental changes and let your voice be heard earlier in the development process. This new, this was a new thing for both the team and the community, and overall we think it was very successful. A ton of great feedback from these those who tested on the forum and in-game. Uh, it's great to see all the videos, forum posts, feedback, various methods, engaging core combat mechanics, and various types of roles and scenarios. Uh, they go into how there was a bunch of different stuff. Uh, how like DPS players in PVE had different experience in PVP and uh, how tanks and support roles were, were affected by it. Uh, and now the most important start is right here. It says, now that we've had a chance to collect and read all of your feedback, we decided these changes to light, medium, and heavy attacks will not be included in the Graymore chapter 26. We will continue to investigate ways to improve on light and heavy attacks to ensure they provide impactful moments. Whereas important choice to pick and choose your attacks thanks again uh to all who participated in tested each change your feedback was available and we learned a lot we look forward to your feedback regarding the upcoming chapter and hope to have more out of okay cool so the most important part of this is this we decided that these changes to light medium heavy attacks will not be included in the graymore chapter doesn't mean they won't put them in later I don't think if they do put them in later, which they probably will, I don't think they'll look anything like what we just saw. Um, but uh, it's super, 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 super good news. Uh, my personal opinion, and I've talked about this um, in late on my Twitch stream uh, and with different content creators and stuff around the ESO community, uh, I thought the changes were almost all like not good, like objectively bad. Um, you know, for everybody, for PvP, for PvE, um, I thought they were bad. Uh, there were some bits and pieces that were good, uh, but overall, it was not a, a not. A, I don't think it was a good change. So I'm really glad they're not going forward with this. Um, but yeah, that's kind of that. Um, you know, look for. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, the PTS. Will be Monday, by the way. Um, we're getting ready to get to that in a second. I'm looking forward to testing the rest of the changes. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, so the light and heavy attacks changes aren't going forward, which is good. So it'll be like normal, you know, minus anything like tweaks and stuff we get with the, with the overall patch, but they're not going to, doesn't look like they're changing this, which is really good. All right, guys, the last thing I want to go over here is, uh, 
this is probably the most important thing. It's an update on Graymore from the game director, Matt Fire. Matt Fire is super dope dude. He's a game director for ESO. He put out a, this pretty important update. Um, basically, we'll sort of skim over this, but he says, you know, health and safety of all, you know, of everyone in the community, including everyone who works at his studio, is the most important thing uh, with all this pandemic stuff going on. Um, and that everyone since March 16th, that Zoss has been working from home. He covers that basically... They haven't had to do this before. I mean, it's new for everybody. Um, most important part of this is it says it looks it looks like that's important. We'll be able to ship update 26 with Graymore chapter about a week after we initially planned it. So the initial date, the initial date for Graymore, um, I pull it up here so you guys can see it. Um, the initial date for Graymore was supposed to be the 18th on PC and the first week in June on console. So now it's May 25th on PC and June 9th on console. Um, April 20th will still be the PTS. Uh, that'll be next week. We'll be covering that on my Twitch stream and on my YouTube. Um, look out for updates with that. But basically, it's looking like update 26 in Graymar will be uh, delayed by about a week. Uh, could be worse. Uh, could be a lot worse. <laughs> There's whole games that aren't coming out right now. So I appreciate, uh, I appreciate these guys are working hard on this. Um, there's some other stuff in here. Uh, you know, obviously you can see PTS on the 20th. Um, and they'll keep us further updated. There's a note in here about French voice acting, I guess. They had some kind of issue with French voice acting because the country's on lockdown. Um, so they're going to put subtitles in, which is interesting. Um, and uh, and basically, you know, enjoy the game. And, uh, and there's a funny part on the end of here. It says, and wash your damn hands, which is funny. Um, but uh, but yeah, guys, that'll do it. Up. That'll do it for us for ESO news for the week of April thirteenth. Um, if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, leave them down in the description below. If you like my video, feel free to like it, subscribe. Uh, look for those uh, PTS changes and updates and stuff coming. Start coming next Monday. I'm really excited for Graymore, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.